Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay K. Today's question is in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself, and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words and explanation. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Now the question: Which is most suitable for this below conversion? I mean, here this is benzene and it's con converted into hexa deuterio benzene. I mean, this proton, this six proton in benzene will be replaced by deuterio. And if you look at the reagents, pure DCl, D2SO4, D2O, from this one thing is common. As is it aromatic electrophilic substitution? Yes. The question is it's aromatic electrophilic substitution. Now, aromatic electrophilic substitution could be achieved using some electrophile. Since the name is says aromatic electrophilic substitution. So now let's learn a little bit about electrophile. So, if you look at aromatic electrophilic substitution on benzene, this electrophile replaces this position and get and substituted benzene. So, what is electrophile? Electrophile is a chemical species that form bonds with nucleophile. Means you can consider electrophile as electron deficient uh, or positively charged. A nucleophile is actually a elect negative or electron rich. Now, we know benzene, there is a 6 pi electron in conjugation. So, it is an electron rich system. So that's why it consider it is behaving as nucleophile here and electrophile. Okay. Now if I categorize the electrophile, it could be a species which are pos either positively charged or atom carrying partial positively charged. By the way, if I say positively charged, you can say sir methyl plus electrophile. If I say carries partial positive charge, then you can say this Br Br. We know bromine molecule act as electrophile. How? Because this is delta plus, this is delta minus, this delta plus bromine behaves as the electrophile. Or you can see atom having, does not have an octet field. I mean, six electron species, so you can say it's electron deficient. It always try to have eight, eight electrons, so they are Lewis acid too, by the way. An example, you can say dichlorocarbene. Okay, so this is the intermediate student in rimer timan reaction. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this topic, you may visit for further learning. So here we understand that methyl plus like Friedel-Craft alkylation, bromine delta plus, I mean bromination of aniline and CCL2 like Ramatimian reaction, these are the examples. By the way, I have already discussed many lectures related to this, you may visit for further understanding. Now, so who can release this D plus more efficiently because we are talking about electrophile and the previous Example, if you look at this hydrogen is replaced by deuterium. How can we achieve it using D plus, which is actually electrophile? And if you look at this D plus very closely, it is an isotope of hydrogen where actually in the nucleus there is one proton and plus one neutron. In common hydrogen H plus, there is one proton only. And we know that isotopes have almost similar physical and chem chemical properties, but they have different physical properties. Now, so here you can expect that pure DCL, if I say, will it act as electrophile? No, because remember this DCL, D is actually a covalent molecule and there is actually a stronger covalent bond. And if you add some polar protic solvent, you can consider D, here since I am talking about deuterium, then you can say sir, D2O like that. Then only this DCL shows acidity and releases proton like here, deuterium, deuterated version of proton like D+, plus, which can act as nucleophile. So, electrophile. So, pure DCL cannot act as electrophile. Pure D2SO4, similar like sulfuric acid. So, it is a very strong acidic. And yes, it can produce one deuterium plus and one DSO4 minus anion. This SO4 minus is actually very stable. So, consequently, these can act as electrophile and ultimately, what it can do. So, this benzene first treated with this D plus. So, what happened? This bond will go and attack. So, ultimately it will produce this is plus, this is hydrogen, this is deuterium, this. Now, next step, by the way, this part is aromatic. You can say aromatic means it is stable. But in this case, aromaticity is gone. This is the sigma complex. So, aromaticity is gone. How the aromaticity is regained? By removal of this proton. 
So you can get this. Now you can ask me one question that sir, isotope, hydrogen and deuterium, their isotope, what is the driving force or stability? Student, that depends on the bond strength. Actually, carbon deuterium is slightly stronger compared to carbon hydrogen. So if you keep that reaction mixture for longer time in terms of D, pure D2O for significant excess, then slowly, slowly, these deuterium exchange of the proton will happen and will produce first 1D. Second, this reaction will continue step by step. So first here, then after some time, all six proton, I mean, actually tot first one proton substituted, so remaining five proton will also be substituted and produce this hexadeuterobenzene. And by the way, this is also called as benzene D6. I mean C6, D6. And this is utilized extremely in NMR spectroscopy. NMR means nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. For a high school student, you should not uh, need to know this. But for college and university people, this information is important. So this way, this benzene D6 or deuterohexadeuterobenzene is prepared. Now pure water. We know water is actually a covalent molecule that not that much acidic. We know at 25 degrees centigrade, the ionic product of water in H plus HO minus is nearly 10 to the power 14. So very less dissociation happens. So that is not enough to carry out this aromatic electrophilic substitution. And obviously option 4 is not allowed. So here what will be answer? Pure D2SO4. Why? Remember one statement. Among all inorganic acid, this is actually the stronger one. Stronger acid, I am not saying strongest, there is a reason. Now, acid which are further stronger than sulfuric acid, they are called as super acid. Let me give you one example. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this. You may visit for further learning. One example, HClO4, perchloric acid. I guess we have studied one question. If you mix perchloric acid and sulfuric acid, who will act as acid and who will base? Means who will donate proton and who will accept that release proton? So perchloric acid donates proton and that donated proton is accepted by sulfuric acid. So perchloric acid is stronger than sulfuric acid. So that's why it is super acid. So this is actually the overall explanation for today. I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.